I have seen countless patients over the years who've been told that they just have allergies when they're actually dealing with something that's more complex. They're given antihistamines, they're told to avoid triggers, and they're sent on their merry way, and they keep getting worse. Some have eliminated so many foods from their diets, they're down to, gosh, some folks down to like four or five foods that they consider safe foods. And even then they question how safe they really are. They're still having reactions. And when they go for allergy testing, they're told one of two things. One, that their allergy testing is totally normal and negative, or the other situation can happen, that they're positive to everything. The key difference is that traditional allergies are predictable. They're specific. And MCAS tends to be the exact opposite. It can be unpredictable. Folks can react to lots of different things. You'll know exactly how to tell them apart, what to do about it. Let's start by talking about traditional run-in-the-mill allergies, this more predictable response, because understanding these is going to help us see why MCAS is different. In traditional allergies, your immune system has learned to recognize specific triggers like pollen, dust mites, your pet, peanuts or shellfish, and it's created an allergic type memory. It's called an IgE antibody. Think of it as a bouncer at a club who has a list of troublemakers. Every time one of those troublemakers shows up, the bouncer is gonna kick them out in a similar way every time. And here's what makes traditional allergies predictable. One is that they are caused by what is considered an IgE mediated reaction. This involves specific antibodies or immune system proteins called IgE. When you are first exposed to an allergen, your immune system creates this allergic memory in the form of this IgE antibody. On subsequent exposures, these antibodies recognize the allergen and they trigger the release of histamine and other chemicals from mast cells and basophils. 